Well, my three main guitars, my favorite one at the moment would have to be my trusty Ibanez RG. Um, I love this guitar, just mainly for the, for the whammy bow, which I'll uh, put in if I can figure it out. I just love the, they're just super responsive, these things. Wow. Just crazy, crazy sounds with the most, just touch it and it, and it, and it works. It's really, really responsive. Best trem ever made on any guitar, if you ask me. It looks super sexy. It really does. Um, other guitars, though. Oh yeah. My Les Paul, my '59 reissue. It just sounds amazing and brilliant because it doesn't have a trem. So tuning stability, brilliant for anything that requires any kind of string bending or anything because it's just not going to lose the tuning like the, the Ibanez will. Got you. Was One that, of my favourites for certain. Was that the um, guitar you used on Queen Kong in the studio? No, actually. The, the guitar I used on Queen Kong was uh, my SG, Gibson SG, the black one, which okay. I think you've seen. I have seen, yeah. That was... That was um, we that's were, actually in a case somewhere. Somewhere hiding. So I find that out right now, but that's also, yeah, just a... To me, the SG is the ultimate rock and roll guitar. You know, Angus Young, um, Tony Iommi, you know, just, they do kind of one sound, and it's the sound of rock. You know, they're just brilliant for that. And it comes from the SG. That's it. That's uh, it. Plug it in, off you go. No, no dicking around with an SG. They just sound great, straight out of the box. Do you find any sort of guitar? Because um, I know, I know, I know a lot of players have kind of like um, guitars they prefer playing for, for kind of particular applications. Do you tend to find that some guitars kind of stay better in tune, maybe, or a little more kind of oh, intonation yeah, is? Yeah. If I'm gonna, if I want um, something that's perfect tuning, then it's the Gibson. Gibson. Is... If I want like a nice shreddy guitar, I want to get some really crazy effects, the Ibanez. Uh, my other main guitar, which I'll just grab quickly. Go for it. It's, it's, it's lovely to interview. This is what I mean. This, this guy, this was. This was Steve. <laughs> oh, I could go on all day. I could go on for a very. I just, very... I just love it, mate. I just love I'm it. Trying to tone it down, if anything. So. <laughs> I just love it. Um, is my my trusty PRS, oh, which look at that. Um, goes with the shirt, which is nice. Look at that. That is that is incredible, mate. I love it. This was actually what we used on um, for the solos of Queen Kong. Okay. Um, just because I wanted to. A, a trem kind of guitar for that solo and uh but yeah i just love this i love the color it, it is so cool it is like just the way that it just the way that it's almost got the blue around it as well it's just incredible That's it. lovely guitar to play feels nice a lot of tones this particular one actually actually had paul reed smith sign it to oh, me wow. himself which is very nice of him i've actually got pictures of him playing this somewhere this very guitar um, uh, that is amazing. That is um, that is amazing. And uh, talking of uh, of legends, you, did, did, I hear you were speaking to um, to Steve Vai in a forum a couple of days ago. 